Hello everyone, we're back with another video. Today we have a Sega CD drive or Sega CD system and we have it in because the customer needs a battery replacement. This is the battery and we're going to be replacing it with a holder like this one. And so we're going to go ahead and desolder that battery. It has three pins as you can see on the video. We're going to start by desoldering this particular pins here. One, two, three, and then somehow connecting this battery holder on the other side. So let's start by turning on our heat iron, soldering iron. We're going to be using a solder puller. So these are the pins. Soldering iron is ready. That's one. That's two. Now, it's a little tricky on the third one. I'm just going to use a little bit of solder wick. Let's see if we can turn it over and kind of pull it and pry it, pull it up. It's okay if we break the battery. The battery is no good anyways. So we're going to go ahead and just break it. Trying to try again from the other side. This time we're going to pull it at the same time. So there's the first pin. Focus here. The second pin is out. And this one's also ready to come out. So there it is. So we have plus at the top. 
Uh, we're going to reverse this one here because minus is at the top and plus is at the on the other side. And I want to go ahead and use these two pins for for this and then wire the other one underneath. That's what I think it'll work. So, we just want the solder to flow through those particular holes. So we're just going to Remove that extra solder from in there. And now it's perfect. We're going to bend these pins here. So that's going to be in place. It's not perfect, but it's fine. The battery will still be in place. So we're going to go ahead and solder those parts here. For this I am going to use a little bit of flux. And this one here is just going to be a wire. So nice and shiny. Now we're just going to use a piece of wire to solder the other one. And I will fix it on there with a little bit of heat glue, uh, hot glue underneath it so that it's stable. So putting a little little adding a little solder to the uh, pin here. Let me find a piece of wire now. wire that I'm going to use is uh, I think it's 22 gauge uh, 
actually is a WG30, so gauge 30. It's pretty thin, but any wire is going to work for this. So there's that piece of wire. We're just going to run it across. I'm just going to run it across here. And then under here. To that pin right there. this so it's all set I'm gonna put a battery in there test it and then put some hot glue I do appreciate you guys watching actually that's not the pin the pin that I wanted on is on this side over here so the wire is a little too long too short let's do it again try to rush you because of uh, work So let's uh, start this again. Run the wire. We're going to add a little bit of flux. Tell them I'll be there in a second. And here we go. Perfect. So you want the pins to be nice and shiny. I'm going to just fix it up with a little bit of hot glue and also this uh, stable this side here and also test it with my uh, multimeter. But either way, I uh, hope you guys learned something. Uh, you can request some services at our website at wayayeo.org. W-A y-a-y-e-o uh, like and subscribe if you like this video uh, i sincerely appreciate it thank you guys bye bye